Hi, I'm Mary Sue Sweeney Price. I'm the director of the Newark Museum. The museum was founded by John Cotton Dana, who back in 1909 proclaimed, the worth of a museum is only in its use. The Newark Museum was always intended to be a center for dynamic education and enrichment. The National Endowment for the Humanities Picturing America conferences held here at the museum are great examples of how teachers have used the American art collections to teach history and enrich the classroom experience. I'm Ted Lind, Deputy Director for Education at the Newark Museum. I'm Elizabeth Aaron, and I'm the Project Coordinator for the NEH Picturing America Teacher Collaboration Conferences at the Newark Museum. The Newark Museum is hosting a conference here for teachers and school librarians from all across the United States. 225 educators from all over the country to work with historians and art experts and curators on ways to integrate the teaching of objects and art and material culture into their schools. Using art and objects in the classroom doesn't require you to be an expert on it, but it requires you to have some really good strategies and methods, and that's one of the things we can help you do in our professional development. And the format here is pretty much what we do with a lot of our professional development. The idea is to teach teachers how to use American art to teach American history and culture. Teachers are experiencing interactive lectures and presentations from historians. We've also worked with curators from the Newark Museum, working with teachers in the galleries, as well as outside experts on teaching with objects in the classroom and integrating more material culture into regular classroom experiences. We're working with an organization called Visual Understanding Through Education, and they've developed a process called Visual Thinking Strategies. And this approach that we use is a, a very effective way to engage young people in a discussion about a work of art. Uh, there's going to be a demonstration of video conferencing and distance learning uh, that they'll see. So once they go back to their home community, they'll be able to connect with our collection. Um, so they're, they're getting a little bit of everything here. It's a really good example of the type of professional development that we offer. The Newark Museum was founded by a librarian and an educator who thought that the purpose of a museum should be to bring people to the museum and the museum to the people. So for teachers to be able to come to the museum and really sit and learn from experts, from historians, from educators at the North Museum and take that back to their classrooms is a really remarkable thing that the North Museum offers. I'm Kevin Heller, Assistant Director of Education for Instructional Services at the North Museum. I'm using art as a vehicle for teaching social studies and history with video conferencing, sometimes referred to as a virtual field trip. And we use the camera to zoom in on specific details of the artwork down to the brush strokes in the painting. So a more, little more intimate approach to it. Where studies have shown the average visitor to a museum gallery would spend between four and seven seconds looking at a work of art, our techniques lead students past that and train them to look in depth and to form their own ideas and opinions. I'm Amy Chase Goulden, and I'm the Regional Director for Visual Thinking Strategies in the New York region. Our organization was invited to participate in this conference because we teach classroom teachers a process for facilitating discussions with their students about works of art, and it's a process that builds visual literacy and also critical thinking skills that are really of interest to lots of classroom teachers. So we've been invited to be one very clear, distinct teaching strategy that um, the conference participants will um, have demonstrated and have a chance to actually practice in the galleries. Does anyone see anything else in the surroundings of this that can give you some clues? Yes. I just, when I see this painting, I notice the light. My name is April Maston. I am an associate professor of American history at SUNY Stony Brook. It's important to use visual and oral and other kinds of sources when you're teaching history because when you only teach with words, students tune out. Uh, if you can bring an image in, and not as an illustration, but as actual primary document where you can show them history through that primary document, uh, then they will remember it. And I have had lots and lots of experience of students telling me afterwards, I hated American history in high school, and I love it now. Art is one of many 
elements that you have to bring into your class to get those students. I don't expect them just to read. I expect them to be able to use visual sources in an intelligent way. That, and they like that. They like to know that they have the power to read a painting, the power to see and understand. My name is Persis Mehta, and I'm a teacher of social studies at Morristown High School, where I've been for five years. Hi, my name is Lindsay Bowser, and I'm a teacher of U.S. History at Morristown High School. Originally, when I was a newer teacher, I did not use art in the classroom all that much, but now that I've become more familiar with the process, I'm more comfortable integrating art every day into my classroom. The program here at the Newark Museum has really opened up my eyes to using more art in the classroom because I feel more comfortable facilitating a discussion where I don't have to be an expert on art. Um, I'm learning with the kids. And also the fact that they make it very easy for people all over the country to access their art. Um, everyone should be more um, open to using the resources here at the Newark Museum, even if you're not from this area. I'm Dave Rodiger and I teach at University of Illinois. I teach labor history and African American history. The professional development program uh, here at, at Newark uh, impresses me, especially in that it develops an encounter with images that enable students and teachers to see things collectively that they can't see individually. I was tremendously impressed today with the range of expertise and comments and the willingness to think about teaching methods and to think about history itself, a really fantastic group. This is the first time I've come to the New York Museum to do this professional development. I came here to actually do research for my book and I got to know that this is one of the really the most supportive institutions of scholars that I've ever dealt with. The New York Museum has offered me so much as a teacher. It always refreshes me. It makes me feel like a new teacher again with new ideas um, and new strategies. It's not just ideology or philosophy that they go over here. It's practical strategies that you can use in the classroom as soon as you leave and they're effective strategies. I'm Mary Sue Sweeney Price, the museum director. The Newark Museum is committed to providing high-quality professional development for educators, and we thank the National Endowment for the Humanities, our partner in this effort.